I'm showing up in a way that I'm projecting or I'm not proud of showing up. They, they call me out on it. And rather than me withdrawing my love, getting pissed off at them, yelling at them, blaming them, shaming them, I take a step back. I'm like, hmm, okay. I hear what they're saying. Is there truth to how I just showed up? Are they right? And then we have this conversation about it. And 90% of the time, they're right. 99% <laughs> of the time, when I say something that they call me out on, I'm showing up from an old pattern, from an old way of being. And then I'm able to course correct. And so now they choose to have me in their life. Do you know what I mean? They choose to have me in their lives because they're allowed to be who they are. So that's why I wanted to have this conversation and why I keep having these conversations with guests over and over again is because I want people and parents to be aware of when young people such as yourself are and in your case, you're not putting on the mask, but when they are to notice if you're putting on a mask of having to show up a certain way around your mom so that she doesn't withdraw love, like that's unhealthy. That's not going to serve you or anyone else who has to do that. Tina, I just have to be aware of the mask I wear. I think most of them are aware and that's why most of them are very miserable. And a lot of teenagers say that they feel like they have friends, but they actually feel alone. And so I think that they are actually very aware that they have these masks and they are aware, obviously, because they don't tell their parents things because they think oh, I can't be myself around my parents. What teenagers need more than anything, I think, is a, a role model who has achieved the things they want to achieve. Because obviously to get from where you are now to where you want to be, you have to do certain things. And the best way to find a role model and find how they've gotten to where they are and try to mimic them.